wait, wait, wait. Okay, we are live. We are going live. We are going live. Uh, setting up. Yeah, we are live now. Chase, who has reminded us to be live? Is it? Still yeah. Showing me. Yeah. Okay, so good morning to all of you, and we are back on a Sunday morning for a yet another interesting session on or for Ask Asif. So over the last uh, three sessions that we've had, we've had uh, quite a number of you having um, some interesting questions being uh, put forward. And that's one of uh, the key reasons for having Ask Asif is based on the topic that we share our information we would really like to have uh, engaging uh, question and answers, very interactive sessions, so that at the end of it, not only uh, the person asking the question, but also the entire training fraternity could benefit from this kind of engagement. All right. On this note, uh, first of all, I'd like to wish the entire training community um, a very happy Teacher's Day, uh, although it was yesterday, but um, in fact, uh, in one of uh, the posts of uh, my uh, school groups, uh, a friend of mine actually pointed out that yes, uh, Teacher's Day is not really just about 5th September. Of course, we commemorate it on uh, 5th September, but it's not about one day because whatever we do is actually used in every facet of the learner's life. So I guess each and every day is a Teacher's Day so let's uh, enjoy that day responsibly so that when we interact with our audience, we, we know that there is a responsibility that we are uh, undertaking. So on that note, let's begin uh, with uh, today's session. And uh, it's interesting because uh, we are going to discuss the book that has been authored by Asif Ibrahim, uh, that is Train and Grow Rich. So first of all, Asif, I'd like to congratulate you for uh, this feat that you have actually managed to write the book. Uh, and of course, many trainers at different levels in their lives also want to become authors. So today we are not looking at Asif Ibrahim as the founder of Learners Conclave, but as uh, an author and the kind of book that he has written. All right. So uh, first of all, Asif, I'd just like to know, well, before we go ahead, uh, for all those who don't know me, I am Elroy Gonsalves, and I look after operations at Learners Conclave. Now, Asif, the first question for you, uh, before we get into the details of the book, uh, what really made you write or author this book when we know that on a daily basis, we have at least three or four posts from your side coming on each of your social media handles, whether it is LinkedIn or Facebook or maybe uh, something even on Instagram. So why author a book? Uh, what happens is uh, everyone has a lot of thoughts and everyone wants to make a huge difference for their target audience. And uh, they start writing their thoughts at social media platforms and every places. But these thoughts are scattered, not everyone can go, not everyone goes through every thought of yours and it's not structured. When you write a book, you gather all those thoughts, structure it, and it can reach to thousands of people. And when they read your book, that builds up your credibility and the trust in the kind of work what you do. When people read your book, they will understand the depth of knowledge what you have on the topic where you play, where, where you are. So it's all about your experiences. It's all about, you know, the kind of difference. And book will be there for years to come. Even if I'm not yet there, after 500 years of my death as well, this book will be there for trainers to refer back. So yeah, the writing a book will create a legacy of your knowledge and the thought process, what you have for, for the target audience whom you are writing this book for. Okay, so tell me, uh... First of all, at least show us the cover of this book. I'm so, sure the audience okay, really wants to see that. So let's uh, show them. Okay. So this is... See uh, this? I'm so happy to see the, to show you all this book. And it's published by CNBC, one of the world's best. So, so, so super happy about that as well. 
and uh, this book when you see your name on this book it really feels proud that you know you have achieved something and uh, it really it's it's an amazing feeling all those authors will vouch for me what is this feeling when you see your name on the book and the kind of lot of you know industry leaders hr heads lnd heads everyone has contributed in this book and lot of senior trainers and interaction with them so yeah so it's a, it's not my thoughts it's lot of people thought and you know sharing their journey with me which has made me write this book lovely so uh, this this book is currently available on amazon.com uh, only right amazon.in yeah, amazon at amazon.com uh, train and grow rich and um, now today happy to share i got my first review of this book thank you remy for you know writing the review all those friends who have bought the book please 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 go and go to amazon and write review and uh, those who have still not bought the book friends do not have any options i would ask you about it and this book is no lot be a one off read for you you have to go back again and again to different chapters understanding the chapters in detail what i have written and very soon we are also going to have a book launch and review and all those people who have bought or read the book will invite you all along with all the hr and lnd heads to you know for official launch of this book as well so if you have not done it go and buy the book this will really make a huge difference in your life super so tell me one thing as if uh, who should be the first readers of this book i mean who is this book addressed to a base if you ask me three last trainers uh, those are the soft skill and behavioral skill trainers who are looking at how to market themselves how to step by step build their organization how they can be a brand worldwide how to position themselves what are the steps in building a training company how i can make huge amount of money how i can be known in the training industry every aspect of it is covered in each and every chapter of this book so in fact asif uh, now i have uh, read the book and uh, uh, some somehow what i feel that although while we say that the target audience is uh, the freelance trainers uh, the concepts are such which i'm sure can be used even by the training fraternity working in the corporate because uh, the concepts are so versatile that yes i can use it while i'm at the corporate second is for all those who want to want to step out in the future and say that okay going ahead i'm going to do this for them too i guess it's a beautiful way of uh, knowing that yes when i step out this is going to be the journey that i need to uh, take on so great True. it can really help the entire training fraternity all right so i guess uh, it's time now let's now that we've already explained who is this book for and what was your thought process behind uh, getting into this book uh, let's look at a few chapters we are going to talk about just about the concepts uh, let's not take out the entire suspense of the book because we really want you to read the book we are going to do just about three concepts that you've spoken about uh, in the book and uh, that that should give you a kind of uh, the first Uh, kick which says that okay i i need to go and get my copy of the book because uh, it's it's small it's simple and uh, one of the essential parts of this book is it's that it's split into two parts one of course is the typical um, learning uh, methodology that you could have uh, a process which says that okay this is what you need to do what i really liked about this book is also that thoughts to myself and that's the second part of uh, the book which uh, you put your stories your posts a uh, simple post that you've been speaking about over the last uh, two or three years you've got the essence of it and put it up in this book so uh, it's a wonderful uh, way of putting in those small posts which have that very uh, daily routine kind of uh, reference for you and at the same time you have uh, one side which has got the kind of uh, the entire bank of information that you can uh, enjoy on so yes it's it's a perfect reading it's a perfect binge reading book uh, if you pick it up today you might uh, just finish it over the weekend uh, for the really uh, avid readers and of course believe me every time you read it you will understand that yes i need to now get a little deeper a little deeper and the insights will keep uh, getting those aha moments for you 
so all the best for all those who started reading it i it's it's a wonderful journey let let's begin with a little bit of uh, so first of all first things first uh, our appreciation goes to the creators of what you're going to see uh, next because there are some wonderful uh, illustrations which have been uh, put into the book as part of uh, a kind of snapshot of the chapter and i'm sure asif will agree to it that uh, these pictures do pick up the essence of uh, the chapter so uh, i guess uh, purnima kartik who's also a life member of learners conclave well our <coughs> deepest uh, gratitude to her i the deepest gratitude to purnima kartik and uh, i really appreciate the kind of work what she has done going through all the chapters of the book and creating a summary illustration infographics so that at one page looking at that one page you will understand the key learnings of the book and uh, i really feel so i uh, this is the mistake which i have uh, committed which i openly admit that you know uh, by mistake uh, we have not added the name of purnima kartik which will be done in the next edition of uh, this book and uh, because this whenever you create a book there are so many things happening you sometimes forget if even if you have committed this mixture accept the mistake what you have committed and uh, i personally feel uh, the gratitude towards purnima she is amazing I mean, if you want to learn about graphic facilitation if you want to know uh, write your book and have your illustrations created she is the best person i have given the name as, the, as well as a number and uh, you can ask me the number directly as well i'll provide her you her number she can really be of a great resource to you all thank you elroy for putting this putting this up front all right and thank you very much uh, purnima once again uh, i don't know if you are viewing this session but yes for all those if you ever want to get your book written and you would really like to have uh, these uh, snippets or snapshots being done Uh, and in fact, uh, one interesting thing that she does is that uh, Purnima also does uh, this under life facilitation. So, uh, for all you L and D uh, professionals out there, if you would really like to have a process uh, being captured in a graphical form uh, live, uh, she is a wonderful resource person. So, yes, our deepest uh, gratitude to Purnima. Uh, you've added a lot of life and vibrance to the book. so let's begin on this note all right so one of the topics and this is something i guess uh, which is a simple uh, funda which we use in every walk of our life and that is take stock of your skill so ask the what exactly was in your mind when you actually wanted to have this as a chapter of the book what happens is any journey begins with where do you stand right now suppose you are there at mumbai and you want to go to delhi or bangalore the first place is where do you stand right now so that's about taking the stock of your skill and this looks very simple taking a stock but many people if you ask them where do you stand right now they are very difficult to ask this answer this question where do you want to go a lot of people would say okay this is where i want to go but if you ask them where are you right now these questions are not clearly defined so first of all we need to take care of where do where do we stand right now in terms of every aspect of uh, training industry in terms of if you want to be you know into training your communication plays a very important role your uh, the way you communicate as well as in terms of how do you communicate with the world that communication skills plays an important role even if you are not good at for everything i would say rate yourself rate yourself at a scale of 1 to 10 if you feel that you know i am communicating properly with the world so you can rate 10 out of 10 7 6 5 so you know over a period of time where am i standing and where am i want to go first is your communication skills second you are talk about the technology now because of this covid times everything has moved online how comfortable are you doing this online sessions what are the tools and techniques available how i can inculcate those breakout rooms and all those things in my training programs and much make it much more engaging technology how technology savvy are you how are you, how are you able to use your linkedin facebook insta youtube to to create to have more number of customers to have more number of leads how technology savvy are you 
and the most important part is connecting with people how 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 do people feel when they connect with you do they feel energized do, do they feel that you know i i love talking to you i love and taking insights from you i love talking to you again and again so that interpersonal skills of yours as well as your domain knowledge whatever area you are playing at suppose emotional intelligence where are you right now out of 1 to 10 we are providing learners from club library to all of my members understand where do you stand out of 1 to 10 rate yourself on each areas and then try to work upon it what is your 10 out of 10 even if you have to more so and you know, as a trainer is an entrepreneur and there are different segments of entre- entrepreneurship has suppose seven elements to it one is marketing how where do you stand at, at marketing where do you stand at sales where do you stand at operations where do you stand at research and development where do you stand at uh, hr where do you stand at finance where do you stand at management how are these elements you no know, so you understand every element of it what is it which is the piece which you are lacking where do you stand and where do you want to go so this will help you to be more focused if you ask me focus focus in the sense if a person is focused things will happen you will get to know about you know various things about uh, finances where how much revenue are going to make this year have that clarity have that focus what kind of upgradations you will do where which platforms you will be a part of all that will come under this chapter taking stock of your skill so yeah so this is Lovely. one of the important elements yeah so i guess one uh, big takeaway that comes from this chapter is the fact that um, although we call ourselves freelance trainers Uh, the moment you step out of the corporate and uh, you want to start off on your own whether as a solopreneur or what the mindset shift itself takes you to the point that you are now an entrepreneur you are running an organization it may be a one person organization but you still have an organization and the moment that thought process sets in that's when you start thinking about the different functionalities of the organization and that's uh, the point that asif has been talking about the seven areas that you would look at whether it be marketing whether it's sale whether it's operations whether it's hr or management the entire gamut but the first thing is you need to understand i am no longer a freelancer i am not just about a single person i am building an organization in its current stage i am one person but going ahead i could be many more agree so Uh, that's a lovely way of uh, summarizing this entire chapter and uh, when you go deeper into this chapter uh, i'm sure that you will realize that okay uh, the kind of destination that i would like to reach to or the goal that i have set for myself where exactly do i stand and am i really monitoring myself am i really uh, putting myself on the right marking system to know very clearly that yes if i need to be good in the future this is where i need to gauge where i stand so typically the book that says that what got you here won't get you there so that's one of the fundamentals of uh, this chapter are we good yeah so let's move to another aspect of this book very interesting one one step at a time so as if would you like to share about this it's so that she show that picture as well one step at a time it's shown needs it and uh, for me it's showing taking take stock of your skill okay <laughs> i've already changed it's not reflecting now so we have around 10 to 11 chapters and uh, every chapter ka infographics have been created by purnima and this one chapter is very close to my heart as well so one step at a time because i always believe don't get overwhelmed with things you have to do try to take one step at a time why do i say this one step at a time is the training industry is, is a huge industry you can earn thousands of crores in this industry but don't get overwhelmed one step at a time when i start i'll give my example when i started with one one of the organization or institutes i would say i got a business of 2 lakhs then i got a business of 8 lakhs now i'm looking at a business of 30 lakhs from that one customer you will have everyone will have only couple of customers giving lakhs and lakhs of rupees business to you but that will not happen that will happen over a period of time don't expect 
organization to give you the entire training budget of yours how would you start the first step is one step at a time being honest being organization love to work so your organization love to give opportunities to so i know a leading bank who tells me as if if you have someone who's very good at it, their craft let them know i usually work with big companies but i can give them an opportunity because i was once upon a time a trainer she was a trainer so organization also gives you opportunity but being honest about the kind of work what you do and sharing about it this is have your picture on your website yeah i am the person i'm alone right now i'm the person i deliver the training programs that organization love to connect people connect with people and you showcasing your you know being honest about it then uh, start with, when you start uh, work with lot of training vendors there are hundreds of training vendors but we are also going to create a 50 training vendor list which will have our training uh, members you know profile sent to them so that whenever that opportunity comes in they can hire you for their training i have been doing it on and off but we will be structuring ourselves to so work with these training vendors because they already have lot of clients with them and you will get lot of exposure to deliver those training programs that's one build a social proof social proof i mean by say is creating a case study or success stories of yours working in small places small groups small uh, professionals and creating a success story of how you have helped that organization if there is a small organization and they have a small sales team and you are you are a presentation skills expert and you have taught them the you know how to provide have the presentation skills and increase your revenue reaching to your clients and their revenue has increased by 20% 40% capture those success stories and tell them that this is what i have done my presentation skills is for a sales professionals to deliver their results better so that kind of testimonial case studies will really help you understanding about the decision makers you need to connect with the who part which are the industry you will work upon and who are the important stakeholders but unless until you have done the ground work and case studies success stories you won't be able to you know understand that decision maker will not be able to understand what value you can get on that table so it's very important for you to have being on the same page with that decision maker decision maker same page uh, what kind of programs i deliver do i deliver programs for the executive level do i program deliver programs for the managerial or supervisor level do i deliver programs for the middle management do i pro- deliver programs for higher management what kind of industry i cater to what kind of you no know, the domain there like hr lnd which domains are you know my training programs are for that clarity of having those and having sustained sustaining efforts day by day by day building your credibility there are wonderful linkedin is an awesome platform i have reached 12104 in nine months connected to so many of them everyone can use there are so many tools and techniques available as well as platforms available for a trainer to showcase their talent to the world days and nights you can showcase your talent to the world build up your credibility day by day by day yeah so yeah this step by step that's what i get to, too excited you know to share about this but yes uh, yeah so i love love uh, sharing my insights and the kind of work what i do and i want trainers to understand that it takes uh, room it was not built in a day to so take step by step, one step at a time and you will achieve the big fish one client giving us 1 crore business will be a reality very soon if you are working on your craft so yeah any 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 questions elroy so uh, no questions as such i think so uh, for me this the take away of uh, this this point is basically the concept of social proof uh, we all like we don't really want to be the first person uh, who's going to experience something but if three or four people kind of say that okay uh, i have already experienced this and i am okay with it i liked it i enjoyed it then i am perfectly fine with it and i guess the same thing also works when it comes to corporates uh, you might have very few corporates who might be ready to ex- experiment on a, a fresh concept a fresh trainer uh, or a fresh methodology but once it is done and it is successful many more will follow suit so it's very important that the moment you have a success story a kind of case study that you can say that yes um, i have tried this it has worked in this particular situation and now i'm offering the same kind of methodology same success story to you 
because I see that there is a kind of similarity between the two uh, systems and structures. And so there are high possibilities that this will work successfully for you too. The moment there is a case study, uh, I'm sure more clients will be ready to accept it. So please, whenever you have a success story, please do not forget to uh, have a testimonial, have recommendations of LinkedIn. And uh, uh, written is more passe. Uh, it's more about uh, what can you do in terms of video content. If you can get a video testimonial, it would be nothing uh, better because uh, we are looking at it with a lot of authenticity in the kind of uh, uh, the information and the person who's also giving the validation. So in please fact, don't this forget. This applies to us as well. Huh? They are, they are like, yesterday, we got uh, confirmation from a leading bank that uh, you know a trainer, Zina Jahan, got empaneled with them and we had sent two, three profiles to them. So yeah, so a lot of corporates, when they reach out to us, we also have to take uh, video testimonials of a lot of corporates and training vendors. I have had so many training vendors get so many trainers and uh, so that the training fraternity also gets to know us that yes, you get opportunities when you are there with learners from here. So yeah, that's true even for us as well. Lovely. All right, two done. And now for the third concept that we would like to bring out to you and that is the bond after the sale. Oh, yeah, this is uh, one area which I will confess in front of everyone that even I made a big, big, big mistake in this uh, because a lot of people will make mistakes and it's all about how do you learn from this. Even I had this membership, I had a membership for trainers, but once I bought the trainers, I was not that you know involved into the aspects of how I can provide so much of value, which I'm doing right now. So as well as with the corporates, whenever I used to go and deliver the training programs, I used to go and just, I have to go and deliver a one-day program. I go and deliver a one-day program and come back. It's not about just doing that one-day program or a two-day program working for a corporate and coming back. It's all about understanding that customer's needs, understanding what can you offer. Then when I realized the concept, importance of this whole concept, bond after sale, I'd been to an institute and you know, delivered a training program over there, understood, suppose you have done a faculty development program, you can offer student development programs. You can, if you are doing an executive level program, you can give them a managerial level programs, cross sell, upsell your services to them, have that important stakeholders of that organization, get connected to you deeply, show them the value proposition of what you do. My business from that two lakh rupees to that 30 lakh rupees this year would be because of that and have a follow-up system. And this is one important aspect. Whenever you do a business with anyone, you don't have a proper follow-up system of even if that person is not giving me business, what is that I can send to them at a regular interval? How often should I connect with them? How I can add value to their life? How I can be a much more resourceful person? Anything and everything what that customer is looking at, how I can be the one shop contact for them? How I can play. So this is one area which I personally feel build a long-term relation. Don't look for short-term transactions. So have more offerings very well created for it. Cross-sell, upsell, as I rightly said. One important aspect, abundance mindset. And trust me what I'm saying, abundance mindset. Uh, there are trainers who have this abundance mindset and share a lot of things on a lot of platforms. Even the world leaders like Tony Robbins and share a lot of things. Around. There are trainers, trust me what I'm saying, has a knowledge of not in JP, TV and all, but he, that person is not sharing that knowledge with anyone. He's like, you know, these are mine. These are mine. This is not going to take you, break down your knowledge, small, small snippets, give it to the world at a regular interval, at a regular, let them consume your content, that mindset. I share everything, Elroy knows about it, anything and everything what I can what I know about it, I share it with the world. Share with the world at a consistent over a period of that abundance mindset and the communication of yours. Are you communicating to your right target audience? Who is your target audience? Are you communicating the right things to them positively day after day? So this, I personally feel that bond after sale would actually change your life because these are happy customers. These are happy customers. Everyone will agree to me that when you go and do a training programs, all the participants are happy. 
or most of the time you know if you have delivered a good training program so most of the participants are happy most of the hr nnd business leaders they are happy with your work why can why don't you you know continue that journey rather than closing that journey at that point of time and don't just go and if i say continue that journey means again and again kuch assignment hai kya kuch assignment hai kya that's not what it is it's all about building long term relationship adding value to them sharing some deeper insights with them and the participants some good articles you have written something which will make a difference in their life that's that's all about bond after sales i personally feel that this is one important aspect which one should focus upon because the customers have already bought your services the customers know about you and uh, yeah you have to be with them so i i guess uh, one thing that we need to understand out here that the moment the sale is done it's not the end of the journey but it's actually the beginning of the journey because when someone buys something obviously he or she is trying to meet or solve some kind of problem of theirs the purchase is just about the first step which says that okay i have already thought over it i can't find a solution anywhere this is where i would really like to go now this is in terms of a sale which we are looking at very positively very constructively done for the benefit of the person so if you can take that person from a very uh, so called challenged state and bring that person up to a kind of satisfied state uh we don't really think that there is any reason why that person should not want to have something more from you and when the customer wants something more from you do you really have that more in your kitty to offer them that's when upselling and cross selling will happen so whenever you have your product uh, as far as possible do not stick to a single product but look at how you can create products that work along the entire line of uh, uh, line of uh, what do you say uh, similar problems or allied problems that you can also solve along with that and take the customer up to the next level all right so uh, that being uh, these three little concepts that we wanted to share uh, in today's session of ask asif of course this is not the end let's quickly look at what does facebook have to say any questions okay so shri vidya mentions about uh, abundance the mindset very good she's like the point dexter keep your thoughts to her okay so yes in dexter finds it quite interesting and believe me the thoughts to self that asif has got the second component of the book it's a beautiful read short little snippets uh something that you can use as your daily dose of motivation well any more questions anyone would like to ask please feel free to do that uh we are more than ready to accept questions all right if there are uh, no questions what can be done then is uh, anyways it's 11:30 uh so um as if uh, if you can have closing remarks from your side if if something so that you would again, like to tell every reader that this is why you need to buy the book uh one this book is a lifetime book for you and very few books are available at the marketplace especially for the training for eternity which is a lifetime book lifetime book i mean by that is this we will go back again and again it's not one off thing it's not a, a people as well trainers who spent 20 years in industry will also go back to the ba- back to basics so it's all about the basic fundamentals what a trainer should have and it's very clearly defined all the 11 chapters thanks to purnima once again for wonderful illustrations and infographics for capturing the essential elements of it at one page so that will give you that you know sticking those one pager as well together will give you a lot of insights if this is what i intend to i need to follow so that's one one aspect wherein go to train and grow rich uh, go to amazon buy that book and all friends you don't have any options you don't have any options you have to buy a book i'm going to ask about this and i'm going to ask about the learnings from that book how you have applied in this book very few people have started writing reviews one person till as of now i'm looking at all my friends to write review about it whatever you felt about this book and we have we'll have a lot of volumes coming up 
you know, I have, we will be getting 20 books the next 20 years from my side. So don't worry, you will get enough of knowledge that could be shared with uh, everyone. So it's all about implementation of this. Thank you so much, Elroy, and everyone who's watching this. It was, I, I just love to share my insights and just so much of things. And it's a life is all about a learning and journey. And uh, you will understand every day we, you know, yesterday also we had a special session on how do how do you get participants for your B2C services? What kind of tools and techniques what you can have? So we keep on having sessions, keep on having. Next week we have a session on how to create online modules. You know, what are the platforms where you can create your online modules, keep it on your own. Uh, Bunishwiri is going to share her insights with. So trainers can learn so many things. It's a passive income. Understand how it works, what needs to be done, how it needs to be done. And every person who buys your product will get money in your bank account. But it will require some efforts, understanding the, everything, how does it work, creating your content, getting structured, showing it to the world. But it's fun. It's fun. You create something and you have lifelong income. That's what it is all about. So understanding those smaller, smaller things of a trainer's life will really make you go a long way. It's all about your intent and commitment towards what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elroy, and everyone for joining today. And we will have many, many, many more sessions of how you can scale your business to a next level altogether. Thank you very much, Asif. And in fact, just as Asif was talking about uh, the session that we're having on uh, e-content, I'd just like to add. So uh, we need to understand that e-content is just not about you putting your existing offline content onto an online mode and do it virtually and say, okay, that's my e-content. Uh, there is a different thought process. There is a different methodology that you adopt. So it would be a very interesting thing for trainers to have a fair idea about how does it work? Because going ahead, uh, it's going to be a big scope for trainers to use that also as a revenue generator. So one so, question from Dexter. So let's address that question. What, what's your biggest stumbling block? stumbling block yeah that's very important and you will come across this blocks it's not that easy that you have decided everything and everything falls in place that's not going to happen you will have that resistance so one thing which i have also mentioned in this book and i, I talk, speak about it at a very good regularly is define your why you know when mother teresa used to go and ask for polar precipitation people used to spit on her face and after spitting she used to say now give me food for my appreciation. You know, the kind of rejections what I get from people, I get 98% rejections. You will also get these rejections from people. In fact, the leaders get 99.9% uh, rejections plus world leaders. So you will also get those rejections. But you get breakdown because of those rejections. But if you're wise, strong, you keep on doing every single day working on your craft, working on everything aspect of it. So there is no hurdle. If you ask me biggest stumbling block, uh, I wanted to do everything. You know, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do that. And a lot of trainers, if you ask the similar thing, they will say, Asif, I can't define my target audience. I can't define because I want to do, I'm good at everything. I want to do everything. I understand you are good at everything. I am also good at everything. Everyone is good at everything. But define, this is what you do first. After consistent effort, I'll do this, I'll do this. That clarity of abhi kya karna hai. You know, that question even we are trying to find out and Elra will agree with me that karna kya hai, abhi kya karna hai. Oh, 5,000 crore to baat ki baat hai. 300 crore bhi baat ki baat kar. Ye saal mein karna kya hai. Ye saal mein kya hoga. So that question, na, once you have answered that question, your why and trying to work out for it, na, there's nothing called a stumbling block. And giro ge na, niche. Papas kada ho jayega na, kya farak padne wala hai. So that's not a stumbling block when you're walking and you're falling. You will fall. Of course, you will fall. This is entrepreneurship. Otherwise, the salary is very good. Entrepreneurship is all about you know, doing something to do something in a meaningful way. And you're, you fall down. You, know, you fall down, you again get back. You fall down, again you get back. You fall down, again you get back. That's what your entrepreneurship is all about. Otherwise, what will happen is the first block and you are out. 50% attrition in training industry. Because the first block and you are out because the why is not clear. 
if your why is clear you will keep on doing again and again you will never fall you and once you people see you after 3 4 5 years that you are consistently doing sir after that people are ready to bet on you initially people won't bet on you yaar nahi jinda rahega nahi rahega pata nahi uske baad ek bar pata chal gaya yaar ye kar payega chal asif i will love to work with you so over a period of time things happen and there will be a lot of people coming and going and coming and going those people will always be there but some people will be there for years together so that's what i wanted to share any any other questions we have so we'll close it now if at all we don't have any other questions no more questions so thanks a lot dexter and uh, well on this note before we close i would request all of you to like share this video and also create watch parties uh maybe some trainers were not able to view this right now but maybe if you create a watch party uh this session might actually add a lot of value to them something that they would also like to have let them understand the book let, let them give an opportunity for them to understand what is it that learners conclave would like to do in the future uh for the training community so do create watch parties enjoy this uh session i hope all of you loved it live and for all those who are watching it on watch parties uh watch it in groups of course and then you can always create discussion groups around it to make sure that the understanding that you are having out of these sessions is immense all right so on this note thank you very much asif and thank you each and every one for coming with us live and viewing this session all the very best yes, see you next week for the e learning sessions this is one session which you should not miss it invite everyone to join for this session connect with me and elroy to know more about it thank you so much right thanks, thanks a lot thank you